A new exhibit at Eastern Illinois University is honoring veterans. But it's telling their stories in a way that you might not expect. Ryan got a chance to check it out. What are they doing? Well, they're sharing their experiences, as you said, in a very unique way. They're sharing them through tattoos. It turns out their ink often says a lot about their lives. I headed to the Booth Library at EIU to learn more. At the Booth Library on the Eastern Illinois University campus, you can come to learn about the experiences of veterans. But you learn not by reading a book or listening to a lecture, but through eagles, snakes, and mermaids. They definitely have meaning. I mean, they're not, to, especially the veterans, I think they're... I think they're more than just a piece of art. Only native Adam Griffey served as a corpsman in the Navy and came home with many stories about his time in the service. Some happy, some sad. And each can be seen loud and clear through ink. A lot of guys and gals uh, get them uh, for uh, multiple reasons. Uh, to, to celebrate, to remember their service and uh, the service of those that they fought and worked with and also to remember those that you know are here anymore. It was a desire to share these memories in a unique way that led the Booth Library to launch this Designs of Duty exhibit. Tattoos are always a conversation starter and uh, we reached out to this group of, uh, of vets and they were willing to share that story and so our job now is to take that and turn it into an exhibit. And through pictures and captions, the stories of local vets come to life on the page. We, we reach back to Vietnam all the way to the present, but culturally speaking, tattoos are becoming much more common and a much more common practice. So you're seeing a lot more of them, and each one does tell a story. And so it's, it's a unique approach to gathering that story, maybe a bit more informal than a traditional biography, and maybe a little bit more open and relaxed. In addition to the tattoo exhibit, the library is also highlighting other art from service members, from aircraft designs to helmet art. It's all a way to share important stories and give vets a voice. After you get out of the military, uh, there's a lot of times, you know, a lot of guys, they just like to stay home, you know, be, uh, be kind, of like, kind of like isolated. And, and t telling their story, you know, like, you know, something like this, um, getting involved in community, uh, really helps with that transition. And highlighting those who've served our country in a unique way. It's, it's really neat that uh, everybody involved here uh, and, and creating this is uh, it's just, uh, just really cool. I think it's a great thing. Now, if you'd like to check out this exhibit for yourself, you can. You can just head to the Booth Library on the EIU campus. It's going to remain there for the near future. So, guys, just such a unique way to kind of communicate these important stories, but yeah. just using a different way, not writing, not, you know, art on a wall, but art on your body. On a person, yeah. on the skin. Yeah. It reminds me of the story I did years ago, uh, back after 9-11. Mm -hmm. We were getting patriotic tattoos, mm -hmm. and so those were like all the rage because they wanted to show their patriotism. Oh, sure, sure. And so this is another way of people expressing themselves in a rather more permanent way. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Very permanent. Yeah, way. very yes. much so. Why don't you bend over and show us your Sierra Living tattoo? <laughs> oh, I can't show that. <laughs> <laughs> the FCC won't let me show you that on air. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh. It's been a great seven years since our final CI Living. <laughs>